What if I told you that was no longer a theoretical Megatron? What if I told you that we can use what I have inside of it to wake the Titans? We can take back Cybertron! The Titan communication key is tied to his spark. You said that the last time I wanted an update. The key? The ability to speak with and recruit a Titan? is more important than his spark, Jetfire. I mean that if we damage his spark, we won't be able to recover any- An intruder? It isn't Starscream's stubbornness that's the problem here. It's Jetfire's weakness. If I didn't need his expertise on the Titan, I'd have dealt with the problem. You're taking too long. I guess Goldbug is going to have to finish his work too. No! Most Autobots wouldn't say they learned anything from our war with the Decepticons, but I did. I learned about weakness and how to protect myself. I chose the side of strength and of order. I thought I was protecting myself, getting away from the past. But my past still haunted me. All because he didn't have the decency to let me die. The Decepticons have never been strong enough to hold power. They bring only chaos. The warlords like Goldbug, Optimus Prime, and Prowl have always crushed their rebellions. If Megatron and his sentient scrap pile were meant to be in charge, they'd actually win, instead of flailing and dying in the streets. I've lived by these beliefs for megacycles. You were supposed to get me the key tied to Starscream's spark, and you've stalled! No, I haven't. I'm trying to make sure- If he's dead, there's nothing stopping us! We don't know enough yet! So why, when I know Goldbug has the power, am I throwing myself in front of Starscream after all this time? I know you haven't gotten him to talk yet, and I'm starting to think you're not trying hard enough. No, I'm trying, but we don't know if it'll work with him dead. Stop! Uh, I'm through with your stalling, Jetfire. Do your job! Uh, Tell them you're not a Decepticon, Starscream. I once wanted nothing more than to be just a scientist, but that dream is long gone. To the Autobots, I am an informer. To Starscream, I am a traitor. And because Goldbug has the power, he now demands I be an executioner. Jetfire, just tell him the truth. <laughs> it was always me. Tell him you betrayed my trust because you thought you could protect me from their war. Shut up! You don't get it, Starscream. You aren't flying out of here. Either Jetfire kills you, or I kill the both of you. You seem... stressed. Is it because of all that noise outside? Sounds like Megatron's got you panicked, boss. How dare you! Starscream should know he's defeated. That we are losing here. But he doesn't. They should all know that we lost. And yet they still fight. They will not cede their power to define themselves. I think that's why I react. Not because Goldbug is threatening my life. Not because he is going to kill Starscream. Not because Megatron and the Decepticon army are at the city gates. But because Starscream's words were enough to shake the control out of Goldbug's optics again and again. And I had forgotten that Starscream's words always had the power to shake me. I hope you can stand as well as you can talk, Starscream. That's unfair. I'm a brilliant speaker, but yes, I can. There's a nanocycle helping Starscream up, that it feels like things make sense again. I looked down at him like I had so many times before, and suddenly... I am aware of a hole that has just been filled for the first time in Megacycles. Starscream, I... Now isn't the time. You're not nearly as eloquent as I 
am. <coughs> Your actions, enough. I agree. <coughs> Starscream! Talk is a waste. It's all about action. No, no, Starscream, not. I think he missed my spark. Good. I do not know which one of us screams, but it shakes the walls. Maybe it is both of us. I was too weak to stop Goldbug. Starscream was weaker. I still chose Starscream. I should have followed the boss. Instead, I wanted to hunt him down. Star... Scream. But I'm too slow. Too weak. To even catch Starscream's empty shell. I did this to you, Starscream. You told me you wanted the universe that you envisioned for us. For Cybertron. And I was the one that betrayed that dream. Even in your last moments, you forgave me for my weakness. And all you asked is that I believed in your dream. Again and again, you gave me a chance to believe. To live and fight for that dream. And I was always too scared to take your hand. Until it was too late. I told you, Jetfire. Starscream was never walking out of this room. And if you don't, that's your own foolishness. Your fault. My... fault? My fault? <laughs> My fault? Autobots promised order, and even in charge, they can never keep Decepticons under control. No control, no protection. If they are half the bots they claim to be, Goldbug wouldn't have become a petty tyrant. He'd have been able to keep control of the situation. He ripped out Starscream's spark because he fights a losing war. And that war is not my fault. No, not my fault. I know whose fault it is. They fight in Goldbug's name, in Optimus Prime's, in Megatron's. They fight for ridiculous causes. Freedom. Power. I've had enough. I would rather his voice than these causes. I don't know where I'm going to take him, but it needs to be far away from Gold City. Jetfire, Starscream. The air above the battlefield roars with chaos, bereft of any reasonable sound. I can shut out the noise. All that matters is getting Starscream away from this, like I've always wanted to. Starscream, no! I call his name, and in my panic, I expected to hear his voice. You take your hands off him, Autobot. You've heard him enough. Megatron is a fool. He doesn't understand. He flies at me in Starscream, and as we both fall... I remember why Starscream and I were on separate sides of this foolish war to begin with. Starscream wouldn't be dead if he hadn't been swayed by Megatron's words. All I can say is my fault and Starscream. All I know is that every meter of space between me and him is a kilocycle's worth of agony. You did this to him! All of you! He wasn't a soldier, and you made him one! He was a scholar, an explorer, and now he's sparkless! And it's... my... fault. I did this. I think I tell Megatron what I would do to every Decepticon and Autobot I could find. I think my voice breaks. I think... I am broken. And then Megatron is restraining me instead of fighting me. I had no one left to fight. Stop this, Jetfire! This isn't what Starscream would want! What would you... N of course he would know. When I betrayed Starscream, joined the Autobots, it was Megatron who took him in. It was the Decepticon cause. When we've taken and cleaned up the city, we will erect a proper memorial to him. You have the city now. 
or are you going to wait until the Decepticon headquarters goes up first? That is not. Starscream would have. He would want you to. The Decepticon cause was too important to him. You could help us honor him. I thought you were good at recruitment, Megatron. I'm not asking you to believe in our cause. Simply suggesting we team up to find his spark. Goldbug has it. So hunt him down. I'd say he deserves it, wouldn't you? I'll consider it. Oh, and when you do finally make that memorial for him? Yes? Do Starscream a favor. Make it something dramatic. Ultra Magnus? Slicer, your report. Well, my cover wasn't blown, but Goldbug's whole operation was. Probably not long before Gold City's looking a lot more mega. I doubt Megatron will be that vain. Goldbug's fall was easily foreseen. Gold City no longer interests the other warlords, so it is of little consequence to me. Goldbug's got the spark. Don't know if he knows what to do with it yet, but- He will figure it out given enough time. You were not the only spy in Goldbug's ranks. Word has traveled across Cybertron of his new prize. If Goldbug does not work quickly, Prowl is waiting in the wilds to snatch it from him. And Prime has had plans for the key in that spark for a megacycle. For the Autobot that controls the spark controls the Titans. And the one that controls the Titans Controlled Cybertron. <laughs>